Hi everyone, welcome. So today I'm fulfilling a request and you can tell by the title what I'm about to do. So we can just kind of jump in. This was requested by a subscriber on Facebook. She said, I would love to see a big ass afro, no part. And I was like, bet my hair is in braids. They've been in these braids for like six days, maybe seven. So there is no better moment than to make my hair into an afro. It is frizzy and ready. So actually before I do that, I'm going to apply a bit of moisturizer to my hair just to make sure I ain't about to damage it with what I'm about to do. One must always, always have moisturized hair when you're styling it. It makes it pliable. That was just a bit of the melanin hair care leave-in because that's what's sitting on my table here. I think I styled my hair with this this week. Anyways, this starts by taking down each braid. Tools I will need for this are a spray bottle with water and a comb or two. Oh, and you're gonna need some clips, of course. You can tell this is like impromptu, on the fly. This is not a tutorial. This is just what I'm doing here. Okay, so clipping this up so that I do not break my hair, combing something that's in a braid. And to get an afro, what I have to do is comb out the definition that has been created by these braids. And you know, this would have been a gray braid out, but I didn't really do these braids to do a braid out. I did these braids as an easy way to keep my hair moisturized, moisturized and detangled until I wash it again tomorrow. But now, I'm going to comb out any kind of definition. And because my hair was in these braids all week, this should be quite easy. This comb, too big for what I'm going for. Gonna switch to this comb. Cause like there's still plenty of definition in there. And I want it all gone. Boom. That should do it. Okay, so I've run into a problem. I don't know where my pick is. I suspect my nephew has it, but I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is use my smaller comb and just pick this into a shape um, on the inside. I'll work on the outside shape in a moment, but I want to make sure that I don't have any parts. I'm not doing a front part. This is gonna be a full all the way around afro so i'm just gonna go in and just pick with this comb like my life depended on it all right so to help with the shape so that i can do less shaping i'm going to just Lightly spray the outside of my hair and then I'm going to put on some makeup and let it shrink up before I finally shape it to a fro. Okay, so it's had a moment to shrink up some, so it's definitely shrunken a good bit. Now I'm going to take the spray bottle of water and I need to shrink up the front so that it hangs the way I want it to. So I'm going to just spray here so that the roots shrink. And then all I'm gonna do is like pull and pat it into the shape. I don't want it to be too perfect. I'm not going for that, you know, perfect fro look, but I do want it to have a rounder shape.
welcome to the 70s so this is my big fro i had to zoom out like several times to get it into the camera so i think it qualifies as the baa size let me know what you think in the comments below thank you for such a fun request i don't think i've ever done one on this channel um but i love my fro and it's so easy because it's something that is more natural to my texture uh so i love it so make sure if you have any other requests you leave them in the comments below and i'll try to you know put them up at some point on the channel and until next time please be sure to stay safe and stay healthy and check me out on instagram facebook and the blog thanks for watching guys bye i just love a fro Ooh, yeah that's the shape that's the shape just pull that down a little yes yes Mm -hmm. Thank you for the lovely request.